What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we got something brand new for you guys and something very unexpected. We didn't know we were gonna purchase this, but with all the weird stuff going on in the world today, we saw the perfect opportunity and we quickly jumped on it. And also we are gonna quarantine all of our other bills for now, just for the time being. But anyways, let's just go ahead, head that way and pick it up. Alrighty guys, so here we are. We are on the way to actually pick up this vehicle, I don't know what pick, we're- pick up. We might pick it up. We just gotta make sure everything works first, you know what I mean? Yeah, we already looked at it one time. We didn't record because obviously we didn't want to, it's privacy stuff. So, yeah, it's, it's a lot of privacy, but the issue was it wasn't starting at all. So we didn't oh, yeah. really want to like fool with it too long. So we told them to get it started and call us whenever it runs because we're down for it, dude. dude we're down. I'm super excited about this. I've always wanted to own one of these. Dude, and I didn't even, I didn't even think it was possible to even buy something like this. You know what I mean? I knew it was possible. It's just just like this rig that we're getting is just crazy dude it's the ultimate rig dude. the ultimate rig the ultimate bug out rig i guess if you want to call it because that's kind of what we're building right a zombie apocalypse slash bug out slash dude this is gonna be i had never been this excited since dude i'm since uh, since such a long time since you know the forklift I mean? since the forklift <laughs> build so we're, we're we're going on and we're getting this beast right now dude, dude. It's, it's a beast there's so much possibilities with this thing and we just can't wait to get started. You know, the sooner the better. There's some crazy things going on in this world right now. But you know what? You it's gotta, time to get crazy. Hey, you got to live it to the fullest. You know what I mean? You could either you could either just uh, hide or you could have fun. You know, I hide would, or you can glide. Hey, I like that. <laughs> exactly. You could either hide or you can glide. There you go. We're going to put that right on the side of it. But we're going to pull up. Probably, he said he got it started. So um, we're probably just going to go ahead and give him the, uh, you know, make the payment or whatever. And then we'll just take it home. It's gonna be crazy driving it, dude. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like, dude. Alrighty, guys, so we just made it here, and look at that thing, dude. We already paid for it. We did all the paperwork. We are ready to hit the road. This is gonna be crazy driving this thing on the road, but let's see how it does. This has got to be one of our craziest purchases of all time, dude. This is absolutely insane. Oh dang, he is zooming. Dang, son. Absolutely epic. Come here, buddy. Oh my goodness, dude. This thing is insane. How did it do on the road? What'd you dude, think? It did pretty dang good on the road. It does get in it. You got to get used to it because this thing is so wide. It's basically like driving a semi truck right here. But dude, this thing is, let's go ahead and just start off in the inside. I can sit in this middle seat right here, dude. Let me get up in here. Dang, gotta, dude. dude. That's a... That's a large look at steering this. wheel. This is like, look, you got three people. Soup. This this was actually pretty difficult to get used to this large steering wheel, but dude, it handles pretty dang good on the road, dude. That's pretty dang sick. And uh, how do you switch gears? How do you put this sucker in the oh, drive? Oh, this thing right here. I don't know, Allison. Oh yeah, it does have an Allison transmission in it. And uh, all you gotta do is just press D for drive, neutral, and reverse. And if you want to switch gears on the fly, you can do it right there. Super simple to actually drive. Look at these uh, light switches right here, dude. That is insane. You basically just unlock it, turn the lights on, or turn them off, dude. And it's that's it, dude. dude everything works, dude, right? Is oh, yeah, it? everything works except for a few things that we really don't know about because the person we bought it from, he didn't know about it himself. So we're just going to have to figure some stuff out with you guys. There's probably people in the military that actually drive these things. So let that are us watching know. these videos. Yeah, they're yeah watching these videos and driving these things. Maybe some of y'all have driven. This is a 94, right? 94? Yep, 1994 yep. Uh, something, something. Some, Stevenson or something. Something, something, like, that. something like that with only 800 miles, which is insane. There's a Caterpillar engine in here, turbocharged Caterpillar engine. And dude, the crazy thing about this thing is there's this system right here that can deflate and inflate the tires while you're That's driving, be dude. Epic, we dude. don't know if this works yet, so we're gonna have to just check everything out. But dude. That's dude. What is that? M15 rifle? M16. Dude. What? That is legit. Did it come with any rifles? We got any around here? <laughs> <laughs> what's up? What's up in the roof right dude, there? This looks like a, it looks like a, they had like something that opened up, you know, like a latch or something, dude. That'd be insane. 
Oh yeah. Oh, it's actually bolted on, which oh, is, is pretty it? crazy. Yeah, bolted on there, dude. That's crazy. Dude, Let me get is, up in here. Get up in here, dude. This is legit. Three people can sit here with the seat belt and everything. Oh, look, there's another M16 rifle. I wonder why. What is an M16? I don't know my guns too M6, well. M16. I'm honestly, that's what they use in the military. I thought quite they often. use like AR-15 or something like that. I really don't know. I guess M16, but I wonder what the heck is this. Got a little pouch. I think it's like a little storage container little store, right there. And you got a store side storage box right here. Go ahead. Let's see. Well, might, might be something in there, dude. Check it on out. For sure. Uh, wonder if the seat goes down, does it? Oh, no, but I mean, Empty. nice little storage compartment right there. Dude, this thing is insane, man. I don't even know what we got ourselves into Honestly, right here, Honestly, can't dude. even believe this is at our house right now. Dude, this is like this is like a dream truck right here. You know what I mean? The ultimate bug out vehicle, as the we mentioned before. The ultimate bug out slash, you know, zombie apocalypse. This is legit. It's I got wanna... heat built in here. This is so you don't smash your head, I guess, or something. So, I don't know what so that is. So you don't get too hot over here. Yeah, it got heat. No AC in this thing. I mean, if there's AC, you just roll the windows down. That's, that's your what AC you, That's right your there. AC. But other than that, dude, it's pretty simple in here. We still gotta go through a bunch of stuff, but let's go to the outside Look at of that. this. Is that a bomb? Where? Oh no, there's something <laughs> else. I was like, what the heck? Oh my goodness, this thing man. Is big, dude. Look at this massive. What size is that? Is that a 40? No, that's way bigger than a it's 40. A, it just says 395-85-20, dude. That is insane. I wonder how this works actually when the wheel's spinning. How does that work? You know? I, I mean? don't know. We're gonna have to definitely figure that out, but that's gonna be awesome because you can deflate these and you'll be unstoppable. Dude, deflate them going to some mud or some sand, which we're definitely gonna have to do. And I'm guessing that's your air tanks right there, and beneath this is what? The our batteries? batteries, yeah, our batteries, which we know noted that these things were actually what like 800 a piece 800 a piece and these are military grade can you pop that off for a second yeah, let me try this dude oh. that's crazy and it is a diesel i seen you rolling a little bit of coal because this thing does not have any type of emissions or anything right nothing man this is just a straight american vehicle right dude, here this dude. is sick man Ooh, check that out dude those are massive they're like big old squares and we were trying to get some because the truck actually wouldn't start when we first arrived there and we looked up the price and I was like shocked. Eight hundred dollars a piece. Yeah, dude. we did a little bit of negotiations with him. We said if it would start with these batteries, we'd pay what he was asking. If it didn't, he'd knock it down a couple a I grand wish it or did. two. I wish it didn't start. But I know, right? It but, started right but up. But I'm actually happy that it started because like these are military grade batteries. Yeah, so they're working fine, dude. They will probably last forever. You, you know want to start I mean? this thing up right now? Look, just listen to how this thing just fires up just dude, on the fly. This thing purrs. Let me hop up in this thing. We we thought the forklift was massive. We just purchased something even, even more massive. Even Let me stand back as you start this thing. Oh, I can't even get, I have to go like 20 feet back just to get this thing in the shot. My Ready goodness. Yes, sir, crank it up. Dude, runs like a dream. Absolutely purrs like oh. a kitten. Dude, this thing is just, one Crazy. thing that one thing that I noticed that was broken is the handle right here. They just got a little key latch, but you know what? It's military stuff. Dude, there's only that. a few little things that we got to fix up, but nothing too like nothing major. You nothing know what I major. Mean? This thing is in pretty. Actually, this is in mint condition. He said that this thing was actually one of the best that he's ever seen. Yeah, that's why he actually bought it because it was such good condition and the low miles and stuff. But other than that, we didn't really have much information on it, right? No, we didn't get much information, but let's just walk around this thing and show, like right here, let's just, we don't even have to go far. Yeah. First of all, what the heck is this thing? That's a massive hook. Looks you know like I you think can that just is? use. I think that's how they carry it like onto ships, cargo ships and whatnot. And they latch it somehow. Yeah, that because be that is guess. some heavy duty stuff right here. And right here almost looks like that's all, how we check all of our fluids, right? Uh, this looks like a radiator cap, which looks like there's some fluid in there. I don't know why there's not on the top one. Maybe it should be. Who knows? We're definitely well, going to YouTube and Google this stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, we got to find this air box thing. We got to take, I think this is the air box, right? Air filter. Freaking oh. Sick snorkel, dude. Dude, that's what that is. That's a, dude, you can literally go underwater with I this wonder thing. how high you you can go with this thing man you can go about this far but you're gonna be swimming in there you know what i mean pretty much but hey that'd be cool that is before insane. we go that way let's go this way look what number this thing is 69, 69 all the, all all the way. way oh this is the name of this thing right here stewart and stevenson dude this thing is epic all dude. the lights work on it i didn't 
I didn't see if those top lights work, yeah, but I'm do. sure they do. Yeah, everything works on it. Dude, look at this bumper, dude. That is insane looking. Nice steel bumper. Uh, I wonder if you can like upgrade this stuff right here. You know, nice HID. Oh, we can do like a light bar, dude. I think that'd be sick. A bunch yeah, of light bars on this thing. And also look at this. He was mentioning something about, about that. That's like fog light type of deal right oh, there. It's just like a very dim light. I guess when they're like walking around at night or something, trying to be sneaky, trying to sneak up on something. Who knows? So I what did he know. say? This, this thing will not... Uh, you can't start it without turning the lights on, right? Or something like that? No, he said you got to, for the lights to do work, like turn signals and everything, you got to make sure you turn the main snob on, oh, you know okay. what I mean? There's a bunch of different things that we're just trying to figure out, but dude, just the front end looks crazy, you know what Epic. I mean? Look at this clearance you got here. I'm telling you, you could go over some stuff, right? It may be a little bit top heavy, but I think we could uh, still be able to cross some oh, things. Oh, easily, dude. Look at that huge axle. Oh, dude. is that that's like a, insane. that's got to be like a two ton, five ton, maybe even a 10 ton. I do not even, know. I don't even understand. There you go, your radiator over here. Dude, this is legit. Epic. There's so much to learn on this thing. Exactly. Look, is that the intercooler? Oh, dude. Dang, that's a that's massive legit. intercooler. It goes all the way up oh, there. Oh, yeah, it does, it does go pretty far. Dude, dude. three windshield wipers <laughs> for that, that huge glass. I wonder, yeah, we do have a little crack in there. I wonder if we can actually buy one of these. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, that is insane. Or we could just, or we could just send it as it is. But I think he said that a, a winch does, or it's supposed to go in here and it like runs the cable all the way to the back. Yeah, we but didn't we, get none of those attachments. You know what I mean? We're going to do our own attachments. But, but dude, look. check out this side. It's a whole different level over here dude we got our spare tire that's definitely gonna come in handy Brand new. i don't even know how still got the nipples still on still got it. the little nips on it but dude i wonder how you take this wheel off dude that's insane stuff right there dude with all that mechanism going hey, on hopefully we don't ever have to take those wheels off to be honest oh, yeah, with you dude, look, check this out i wonder what was over here like an antenna or something you think so probably for the cb radio or something yeah that looks like an ac unit would go up there somewhere yeah, it's not weird, sure dude we may even throw one in there if there's not already one in there who knows because that's our plans we'll get to our plans what we're going to do on the inside of this we haven't showed them what's in there but yep. let's keep walking around here let's see what's going on what's going yeah, on over here what's going on over here is there's a bunch of little pins and stuff he said one thing that you can actually lift this cab up somehow so we're gonna have to figure that out there is like a little warning thing right here secure cab door so we're gonna have to figure that out i think that'll look really cool lifting that cab so that's insane but got, got that, a massive fuel tank which we'll probably go fill up right now right yeah we need to fill it up with diesel dude, diesel is cheap it's right dropping. now dude. it's dropping by each day so we're gonna go ahead and put a full tank in here i don't know what kind of gas you think is in here like 60 gallons or something like that oh yeah that looks like a big old tank dude. that's huge but other oh that, my dude. goodness dude that is epic dude drive shop wonder where the transfer case is on this thing is this the transfer case that this is big old thing dang dude. dude that is insane that's some heavy duty stuff right there this is crazy oh, dude this is the craziest goodness. thing we've ever gotten ourselves into dude this is this is legit right this here. this is beyond me right here this I, is beyond I feel like me I, I feel like i'm dreaming dude to I be know, honest right? with you. this is something like i've always like love the look of military vehicles you know you see them convoying down the highway sometimes you're just like dude i want i want to i want that truck i just you know? want to drive it man oh yeah dude that is epic all right let's keep moving here all all tires are good what is this right here all tires are brand new man this is low miles man brand new tires i don't know how much they are they're probably expensive but this right here uh we didn't really get too much information about i don't know there's a positive and it's, negative thing right it's here field phone right there the field phone maybe they have like a phone they connect like radio in uh air strike or something like that Air strike or something <laughs> that is crazy. I right, just keep moving around here. Got two windows on this side, got a sweet ladder that they threw in for us. Got an awesome panel hook, right? Yeah, dude, check this panel hook out right here, dude. What, dude, you can go up some crazy hills and stuff. Yo, and imagine, imagine this. Yeah, what I think that that's perfect for us because imagine hauling our big old forklift oh, with this thing. How, how dude, crazy would that, that be? That would be sick, and maybe even color match them, dude. Dude, oh, we may be on to something. Dude, that'd be insane, but this thing definitely will haul it, dude, with this transmission yeah. and the heavy duty. We're going to have to find like a heavy duty panel hook trailer, though, because. Exactly, like you know, a triaxle. Maybe uh, the military has one. You never know. What if they have like a heavy duty one? Dude, you may be on to something. You may go somewhere like that, but this ladder right here, you want to go ahead and pull this sucker show, off? Show me how it articulates. Show me how it works. Right. I think there's a pin over here. It's already out, but. Dang, that's pretty dope, dude. That's sick. I think it latches on somewhere. Boom, dude. And we're ready to go up. You ready to go up? Let's see what's going on in the inside. All right. Open that door up. Can you open up both doors or just one door? Are we stuck? Oh, hold on. I don't know how this is done. Yeah, oh, you gotta make. Oh, there you oh, go. Dude. Wow. 
it's like a weird hospital green old hospital Ooh, green it look. It smells weird in here. Let me get up oh, in there. I think this is the rail for the stairs, right? Oh yeah. You want to slip that in for me? Because you know, I, I, safety precaution. Here, grab that side. Dude, that's legit. I didn't even know that. Let me get mine in first. Can you slip it down? Perfect, dude. That's it. Go up in here, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Try to open up this door so we can get a little bit more lighting, if possible, if not. Uh, yeah, dude, there's like some heavy-duty bomb-proof latches or something in here. Dude, this is crazy. How thick are these doors? Are they all full metal? I don't know. Maybe they're Ooh. bulletproof or something like that. There's lights up in here, man. Dude, that is insane. We're gonna have to figure out how to return this stuff on. There's a fuse box, dude. The whole entire, that's like what we got what in our house, dude. This is a, like a house fuse box. I mean, it's on. Power di power distribution panel. Oh, everything is off. You think I should turn some stuff turn on? Turn something on, dude. We got like four big old batteries. <gasps> oh, oh, blue lights. That, that is, is sick. Look how many sockets we got up in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dude, and... look at this stuff. There's like a phone. One. What do, what do you think? They just attach some kind of phone or is that just something positive, negative? I wonder if there's power through here. 24 volts. Dude, this is legit. Let me try to hit this. Oh, I thought I was going to do something crazy. What is this thing right here? Open cover for air transport. Let's what? go ahead and open this. Oh, oh we got a little head. turbo. We got a little fan. fan. Oh, don't worry. Oh, I think you might. Now. I think you might have to have it running. Don't put your fingers in there. I was just gonna spin it, see if it's free spinning. But dude, this is insane. I wonder what that is. A little blue light. That looks. That looks sick. That's gonna look cool at night, especially. But what are our plans with it? What, what's like? What are we gonna do in this general in, area? In, in this general area right here, we're probably just gonna go ahead and do it like a sick, like off-roading, off-grid camping type thing. RV you know? type deal. Yeah, dude. We're thinking about throwing some bump beds probably along this back wall, dropping them down, dropping them up. You know, just do something crazy, dude. Repainting the inside. Probably throw some LED lights instead of these little antique school lights, whatever yeah. you call them. Maybe some hardwood floors or some vinyl that stuff yeah. that lasts forever. Oh yeah, some vinyl. I wonder if this is already inside like these walls because usually you'd have to insulate but I think they already are they're probably like they're kind of thick you know what I mean they're solid you got two windows on this side what is this right here this Raised is a, latch this is a window I think uh, no, I don't know that's probably stuck but that, yeah, that is can, a window though yeah you can open these windows somehow here dude see what this is crazy man got some I don't know what this is right here I guess it's like for strapping points or whatever yeah the floor we got some weird strapping points as well uh, it's for the panel box there. Got another circuit breaker or whatnot. All right, right dude, there. You can figure it out. Dude, that is awesome right that there. That is legit, dude. For camping or wherever you're at, dude, you get some nice airflow, dude. That is sick. What you dude. do is you lock yourself in here, you know, put a nice little latch right there so nobody oh, can dude, get to you. Look at the latch on this door. Have you seen it? Uh-uh. One, two, three pins, dude. That is insane. That is solid right there. Now, I wonder if this thing is actually bulletproof or not. What do you think? Hmm, that's a good, that's good question. question. They're pretty thick, but I don't know. Yo, that feels solid. That's dude. what I'm saying. That's like a solid the door so this might be bulletproof who knows this is crazy dude all right so check this out went ahead and slid up all the window covers it's nice and dark in here very private and uh it's actually pretty cool because this door has another little like vent thing i don't know what you would call this probably you can talk to somebody from the outside without uh knowing who they are or something <laughs> without having to actually open the door that's what yeah. i think or maybe it's for like so it doesn't create a vacuum in there or something yeah i don't know maybe it's just an air vent if you like you know you, you make it stinky in here you just open it up <laughs> right hey you never know this, never on a know. serious note you may be in there for a couple of days hey but... check what i just noticed before i was gonna hang this ladder up but dude check out these little things right here what are dude, those they... oh dude you think that's just a climb all the way up literally dude. Go I'm up about there. To, I'm about to do it. All right, you ready for Go it? Go up there now. I'm going to toss the phone to you, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to climb right up on there, too. All right. Hey, look at this. You can just open them up while you're climbing. Crazy, crazy. What's going on up there? And then you got a little oh, loop right there. You got a handle up here, too. It's made for it right there. It's made for it. It's just dang, dude. They even camoed the roof of this thing. No way. Here you go. Well, they have to because I'm going to toss dude, the dude, phone. It's I'm... nice and sturdy. Oh, dude, I'm kind of. No, I'm be scared. Just, just hand it to me. There you go. Oh, I got it. All right, now I'm coming on up. Come on. And they make it so easy. I know, dude. Check out that little handle up there. Wow. And the reason why they made it camo up top is, you know, I guess from uh, air aerial view, you know, they can't they can't spot you at all. Exactly. 
We're rocking this joint, but watch your step back there, dude. This you is can a, just easily walk off. Especially me, I'm recording, man. I can just back up a that, little too much. That's a high fall. What do you say? We're about probably like 13 dude, feet. Dude, we're about as tall as our shop, dude. I think Check our, that out, dude. I think our shop is 13 and 15 at the peak, which is pretty insane. So we got to be careful, like driving under low bridges and all that good stuff. But I wonder if all this is starting. Look at this. It's like this cutout right here. Dang, they look like they patched it up, or they probably had some kind of little, like a big machine gun on top, something like that. Something, I don't know. something insane, or maybe it's just like a huge huge moonroof little thing but it's nice and sturdy right here probably everything is nice and sturdy careful careful Ooh, right there that actually, looks like some thin metal actually that is some piece of a piece of thin yeah, tin the th thin, 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 thin tin thin tin walk gotta, on the bolts yeah walk yeah, on those bolts go. let's go over here oh yeah that's nice and sturdy as get down well. here. i would like to unbolt that and see how Dude, see how it looks with that's that like off. a that's like a military sunroof that's what i'd call that right there exactly that's what you you know you pop out with your machine gun or whatever your, your machete m16, m16 whatever they got in the yeah, back m16. over there oh wow dude that's actually not something you want to step on i wonder on right if there. this is fiberglass right here or is this all metal right here may even be aluminum to kind of make it a little bit light yeah. but there's no telling what do we got right here it's like an hvac unit or something that's I what I, maybe it does have one there's another thing on this side or maybe they just took it out you know what i mean they just gutted it yeah i can't really see anything in here it looks like this is like a little swinging door but i guess we'll we'll get to that stuff later when we start unbolting stuff but i guess that's pretty much it for the top dude you know what i noticed there's these little like loops everywhere and this is probably to remove this whole entire back thing off of this thing you know oh, what i mean oh yeah and you know what we got the perfect equipment we got the look forklift, that. dude. Massive forklift. Imagine that, easily work dude. on this thing. That's yeah. going to be epic, man. I'm super pumped about this. But that's pretty much it for the top. Let's jump back down and what do you say? Try to pop open that cab or let's something? Let's do it, man. All right, so we just got down from the top. Put the ladder back on. It looks pretty cool as it is. But let's move right along on this side. As you might have noticed, we do got three windows, as we mentioned. And I think the other side only has two, and that's because they put like a little panel over there or something like that. But let's keep walking over here. Check out this exhaust, sick exhaust, like just like the Dodge Viper. But I noticed a big old muffler underneath. Look at that big old muffler right there. That, oh dang! That quiet. That makes it super quiet. I'm thinking, what if we straight pipe we it? We need and, to delete it and just make it a turbo whistler. No, nah, we just take that little muffler part off, and I think it'll just sound a lot better. I, I think it'll sound crazy. It already rolls cold. I think because it is, uh, you know, no emissions. Dude, look at that, dude. It's just pointing right out the side. That looks sick, it dude. It looks pretty dang. What cool. if we put a little flap on that sucker, a little dude? Flapper a big old stack going up to the top all the way up like to the that. top <laughs> and also over here you can tell right here this right here is actually the air dryer because this all runs off of air and then we need to make sure that air has no water or humidity no kind of in it. moisture or none of that kind of stuff because yeah that will mess up the system but moving right along we already seen the front end looks sick dude it just looks sick from every single angle but we were mentioning that this whole entire cab actually does rise and i think you can get to that engine I don't know how we would do those controls yet. Are they like right yeah, here? Yeah, they're right there. And I think the spare tire thing actually goes down as well. It goes down all hydraulics or by air. I don't know. All the controls are right here. Maybe some of you guys can tell us how to use this stuff. We're not going to really mess with that because I don't yeah. want to mess anything yeah, up. Yeah, we're definitely going to do a lot more research before we actually mess with anything. We do not want to break anything. But as of right now, we're going to set this stuff aside. And what do you say? Go down the road? Dude, let's go down the road. And th now's a good time to fill up that big old fuel tank with some cheap, some cheap, cheap diesel. diesel. The prices are crazy right now. And they supposed to go even lower so i don't know but let's just go ahead and send it to the gas station and put some fuel in this thing See how much this thing will take. You're way far from it. You right, think how about up top? We you're good? good. Yeah, you're good. It's 15 foot clearance. This thing is about 13 feet. All right, hold on. Let me put this in neutral. Dang, dude, it's like a Cadillac on wheels, man. Big wheels. All right, guys. So check that out. 48 bucks for 20 gallons. I'm not sure how much fits in here. We'll know whenever we run out of diesel. But right now, let's head back to the house. All right, so we're talking this thing out about 50 miles an hour. 
It's pretty smooth. Pretty smooth and sketchy at the same time. I mean, it's a little bumpy. You feel that? Yeah, it's a little need bumpy. Some, need some balancing in the tires or something. Yeah, we gotta figure something out. It's definitely much balancing up and down. Alrighty guys, so we are back from our very first test drive and I gotta say that was one of the most epic experiences ever. We're super happy to have this unexpected build, but you know what? The world is getting crazy and we might as well just get crazy with it. It could hold a bunch of toilet paper and what else? A bunch of water or whatnot. Hand I don't know. sanitizer, whatever you want, dude. That hand sanitizer is just sold out. But anyways, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as we are. Make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. And also be sure to follow us on Instagram to get an inside scoop before YouTube. Also, if you wanna help support your boys, be sure to visit Goon Squad com and copy some merch but with all that being said thank you guys for all the love and support be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll catch you next time peace